Um, what I'd like to do now is talk about what is the UK Fluids Network, um, and it is what it does, and that can be best seen by looking through the website. So I'd like to go through the website live, always a bit risky, we've got the PowerPoint and that doesn't work, um, and talk while we're doing that, while I'm doing that, about why we set it up, um, and obviously what we're doing. And uh, just before I start, really why it comes down to three things. Firstly, uh, funding. Secondly, um, international engagement. And thirdly, impact. So I think this, uh, this should work. So this is the front page of the UK Fluids Network. Uh, it's a sort of hub, if you like, for what's new, uh, what's on, uh, and then various tweets. Uh, and we found Twitter to be a very effective way of sharing information very quickly. It's very easy for people to tweet themselves without having to log on to a website. So. Uh, it's a, it, I think, looks like a bit of a gimmick, but actually it's an extremely useful gimmick. Now, the core of what we do are these special interest groups. So this is a page loaded live. So this is the sort of Britain's Got Measles page, where you can see all the different institutions um, that are involved in the UK Fluids Network and the various special interest groups down the side. So there are 41 special interest groups. If you click on one, uh, you can see the institutions that are involved. So you get a bit of a description. You can click on more details, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, and you can move down and see some more, etc. So these are the sort of institutions involved. Now this brings me on to why I set up uh, the UK Fluids Network. Um, and it's really, well, one of the reasons was a, a strategic response to the a changing funding, funding landscape. Um, the curious nature of fluids in the UK, if I just pop to the top and do all six, is that fluid dynamics in the UK is an exceptionally strong subject uh, on the global scale. And uh, the subject was uh, to a great extent, invented in Britain. If you think of fluid mechanics, you have the Reynolds number, that's Manchester, um, Navier Stokes equation, uh, and uh, many of the, the initial people, G.I. Taylor, uh, G. Uh, Batchelor, uh, were based in the UK. They had many students who were British, and those British students stayed in the UK and made their own excellent groups within the UK. So you end up with an enormous breadth and depth of fluids expertise within the UK. So that's where we are. It's worked very well on the principal investigator plus one model. So you put in a research proposal for the PI time uh, and plus one, which would be a PhD student a few years ago, increasingly, of course, postdocs, um, under a sort of apprenticeship model. Um, but we've seen, I think, in the last few years, uh, the, the, London, the funding structure changed such that um, that sort of PI plus one proposal tends not to get funded. It tends to be a bit bigger. One has to have a bigger proposal. Uh, in fact, in the field in which I work, flow and stability, there isn't a single proposal that is a PI plus one. Everything is joint institution. So there's that, that sort of move towards larger um, research proposals, uh, which fits slightly uncomfortably with the structure, but also the move towards a centre of doctoral training, CDT approach for um, doctoral training, where if you have a CDT in fluids in London and in Leeds, and then one in Aero split between Cambridge, Oxford and Loughborough, the danger is you underuse your two most important resources. The first is the academics of institutions that don't have a CDT. And the second is the students who have been taught by these great academics and other institutions, but for personal reasons perhaps don't want to move to London or Leeds or Oxford, Cambridge or Loughborough. So we had to sort of respond to that. And the way we did that was by setting up the UK Fluids Network with the special interest groups. The idea being from a CDT perspective, that those CDTs and the students there can be plugged into what's going on within the UK while they're doing their PhDs. Um, and also so that academics of those institutions can be plugged into the CDT students. Um, and that means that at the end of the, uh, when a student's been trained through the CDT, uh, we haven't just trained up very expensively people to go and work in the States, but they're actually plugged into the UK community when they leave. And are therefore more likely we hope to stay in the UK. Um, secondly, going back to the proposals, uh, we have these special interest groups. If I just click on one almost at random, let's do combustion science. Now we have multi institutions with many PIs. <coughs> so in this one, there are, I think, 24 principal investigators involved. And a lot of what they'll be doing is discussing research, but some of them will group together to get their ideas that would have been presented as a PI plus one proposal into five of those, say, together sprinkle a bit of magic about impact and uh, um, outreach, etc., which you can do through a network very easily, and you have a coherent proposal that can go to EPSRC, and it's now a million pounds, say, or five PIs, maybe a bit more, 1.5 million, and it's coherent, it's uh, the sort of thing that funders want to fund, and the academics want to do. So you've built up a bottom-up research pro program that fits within a more top-down funding structure. So that was one of the main reasons we wanted to do this. Um, and it's been running for a year, and the first six are beginning to put in their first proposals now. 
That, of course, is not the only reason we're doing this. It's not just for funding. I mentioned international engagement. Um, we had, as, as a country, we've had great first mover advantage in fluid mechanics. We, we did a lot of it first, and a lot of people think, what are they doing in the UK? And we want the UK to be the first port of call for people around the world thinking, what's going on in this area? So you've got an area, like acoustics, for example, let's take another one, why not? Let's do uh, marine hydrodynamics. You might think, what are they doing in the UK? Well, you can see the institutions that are doing marine hydrodynamics in part of the SIG. You click on the SIG, uh, and uh, you can find out who's contact. Um, and then you can, if you want to, just flick through what's going on. So those are the special interest groups. You could also, you might find the resources. So here at the moment, there are just five, and if we do control, click on one of these, uh, you find a whole set of resources for researchers in the field of control. And these come with uh, notes um, and with a little bit of computer code as well. A, a new PhD student can pick this up, watch the course, pick up the code, and really learn about control of fluid flows um, by, uh, by running this course online. So we're building up the number of research resources that we have online, so that when a student in another part of the world types into Google control of fluid flows, they get to this, and then we disseminate what we've done within the UK to the students around the world. Uh, that, of course, is good for the UK's reputation, but also it's good at attracting PhDs and postdocs to the UK, either at the end of their undergrad or the end of their PhD. Right, finally, uh, regarding impact, I'm going through this very quickly. We wanted to act as a brokerage between uh, industry and um, UK research researchers. So this page is loading, and it's loading in uh, 400 and something researchers at the moment. I should say there are 750 PIs involved in the 41 special interest groups, let alone postdocs and PhD students. So it's a very large network. Um, and uh, so here, oh look, look who's first. Anyway, let's uh, think of something you might want to know about, uh, aerodynamics. So we can select from all these things and see who's doing aerodynamics within the UK. Oops, what did I do there? There we go. And you get a list. Now, uh, you can scroll through the list. Well, you could if I knew how to scroll on this computer. Anyway, you can scroll through the list to see who's doing aerodynamics and see what else they're doing. Um, and uh, aerodynamics there being highlighted. At the moment, that, that's, what, that's all you can do at the moment. What we're hoping to do let next is a more uh, dynamic search, um, and certainly so you can add in aerodynamics <coughs> and something else, aerodynamics or etc. Um, Finally, uh, so, so that's uh, interaction with industry. Of course, most of that interaction happens within the special interest groups themselves. Um, uh, there's also the interaction with government. So I spoke to the head of Go Science, the Government Office of Science. Uh, one of the things they want is to have a sort of list of experts that they can ring up and say, very quickly, we need to know what happens if you do this then. And that we have on tap, a list of experts. So we can be their first port of call. Uh, and there's also the, the public. So we have a competition. This is the second competition now. We, uh, we have a, a past winner from the photo competition, uh, which is a funny photo of um, salt diffusing into fresh water that's been dyed. Uh, we've just run a series of 40 interviews of fluid mechanics researchers um, within the UK, and we're going to release those at around one per month via our Twitter feed and the Facebook and the website as well. Uh, and these are for the general public. So you have a picture like this, and then you say, what on earth is it? That's uh, the end. I'm just going to highlight this uh, connect at the end. If you want to ask us a question, you can just do that through the connect site here. Uh, but the um, executive committee is up there. That's me at the top. Uh, advisory board. Um, we put absolutely everything that we share online. That, that we, any, every email that goes out to everyone goes online. Uh, we're very open about this. And at the bottom is the uh, proposal documents, etc. So um, we took advice at the beginning about how to run this and we're told that we should really make sure that um, everything that we did was very open, um, and uh, that's exactly what we've done. I'll just leave that slide up for the moment, and I'll finish there. Thanks very much.